Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Good evening. Good evening, how are you Good today, evening, teacher? Hi, guys. Hey, only five students, four students. My goodness, y siempre los mismos que mañana. Sí, los mismos que mañana siempre. Dios guarde. Veamos. Ya les vamos a escribir estos cipotes que qué piensan. Para en clase, ok. Let me put it here. Ana Mercedes, Amaya Corado, Andrea Mercedes. Laguna. Ah, yo digo, Ana Mercedes, ya vino. Ah, qué bien, mire. Okay. Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez. Carlos Mario Vendaño. Carlos René Rivas. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Francisco Nehemías Godínez Urquía. Present. Helen Dionel Ibarraza de Jerez. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Veamos. Marlon Balmoris Dueñas Rodríguez. Maura Estela Orantes Fernández. Maura Estela. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Alas. Present. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Presente, Tisha. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez Osorio. Mario Alexander Arteaga. Diana Carolina Guevara. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Ok. So we have our students for today. Right. Let me just send them a message here. Give me a moment. I think I forgot. Okay, here it is. My goodness, the computer is so slow today. Very, very slow. Hi, Laureana. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, so just... Okay, yesterday we were talking about the use of could for possibilities, right? That was our main topic for yesterday's class. Like could for possibilities. Do you have any questions about that? Any questions about could for possibilities? No, okay. Well, if we don't, let's go ahead and ask. We're going to start answering two questions today. Okay. Let me put them here. Can you see the white screen? Yes. Okay. Now, let us talk about this, right? Last, last week, I think, last week we were talking about what we do when we, went, when we get sick, right? Who do we talk to when we, went, when we get sick, right? So today we are going to do the same, right? But we have two questions. Miss Amaya, can you read question number one and Dominguez question number two, please? 
Where do you usually request a permission for? Who is the last person who sing them? Okay, very good. Now we're going to work right now, right? We're gonna speak about this, right? Where do you usually request a permission form? And who is the last space person who signs them or signs the form, right? In my case, I work at English Corporativo, right? So when I want a permission, I request a permission form online. We have a process with the teachers, right? So we request the permission form online, right? Then, but we also have to ask orally. We need to talk to the coordinator, right? So he can approve the first step, right, of the form. But once he has approved that, we need to talk to, right, with the form, the last person who is going to sign is the big boss, right? the CEO of the company, he signs the form. So he says, yes, Sylvia, you can miss one class and we are going to wait for another teacher. Good evening. Yes? Good evening. So now, do you understand the questions? Yes, no? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, Amaya says, yes, what about the others? Do you understand the questions? Yes. Okay, very good. So let's let's give an answer to that. Write your answers. Write your answers to these questions and then we'll continue and share our answers through speaking, okay? <clears throat> okay, what are your answers? <clears throat> okay, we're going to change this Okay, excellent. Look at that answer. That's perfect. Tell me, can you read your answer, please? We can obtain them in the administration area, area and the person in charge is my immediate boss my immediate boss okay very good thank in, you so much immediate um, immediate immediate boss yes what about you ruben do you have an answer already <laughs> nemias laureana dominguez <clears throat> Okay, let's see another answer. I usually request a form to make purchase orders and the first sign is my boss. Okay, perfect, perfect. That is a regular form. But what, what about Mercedes, what a permission form? Let's say 
someone in your family is sick and you need to go and see that person. Do you have kids? Do you have children? Okay, imagine that one, one of your children is sick and then you need to go right now. You need to leave your work or you cannot go to work. Your answer is correct with another type of form. Let's see, and then we request permission from the head of the department. Excellent name, yes, very good. Okay, let's wait for a couple of more answers and then we continue. In my work, it is not necessary. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Look at that answer. Very good, Laureana. And what about what about if it's if it's for health? Let's suppose that you you are not going to work because you feel sick. You don't request a form. No, only send fo photograph. Oh. Of the the de la incapacidad. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's cool. Okay, perfect. So we got there our answers, right? Anybody has another answer? Hay alguien más con alguna preguntita, alguna respuesta? No, nadie más? No, no hay preguntas. Ya no hay más respuestas. Let's see here. My work is in the street. Only this is the office. Sorry. Perfect, perfect. It's in the street. A street. A street. La doctor, el corrector me, me reacciona. We request permission from the owner of the company. Okay, very good. Excellent. So we got there our examples, right? We got there our examples. Let's see, we can send a to the administrator of the drugstore. Administrator. Very good. So guys, we have our answers. Let's continue here with the following conversation, right? This conversation is very easy and we don't have new words. Ok, no tenemos palabritas nuevas. Así que en esta conversación la vamos a entender bastante bien. Right, I would like to have Mr. Ray is going to be Nehemias and Ashley is going to be Laurian. Let's do it. Pay attention, please. Pay attention. <coughs> Comienza, por favor. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the pro procedure, procedures and rules are of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sound good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, very good, very good. Now, we are going to just work with this word, right? 
Procedures. Repeat, Nemias. Procedures. Procedures. <laughs> Procedures. Very good. Procedures. Now, can you please repeat here? Permission. Permission. Ah, eh, Laureana? Permission. Permission. Good. Permission. Only those two words. Now I need to listen to Mr. Ray. It's going to be Ruben. And Delmi is going to be Ashley. Let's do it. Good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to, to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the pressures and roles of our company? No, not yet, sir. No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to re request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain that then, then to, to you first. Okay, very good, thank you so much. Sounds good, right, sounds good. Now, let's see two more people. Do I have any volunteers? I need two volunteers. Me. Okay, Nelson, uh, you're gonna be Mr. Ray, and Carlos is going to be Ashley, very good. Carlos Mario. <clears throat> good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and the rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want? Where do you want to start? Uh, what about to request a permission? Sound good. I will explain then to you first. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you so much, right? We got there our examples. Do you have questions about the meaning of that conversation? No? Okay. Everything is clear? Yes. For me, yes. Okay, okay. Now, we are going to start here, right? And we have the conversation about Mr. Ray, oops, sorry. Mr. Ray and, Char and Ashley, and we have two questions. Right? First one, who is Ashley? Who is Ashley, Miss Amaya? Uh, she is the new employee. She is the new employee, okay? She is the new employee, okay, good. Is that correct? Is that correct? Is, she the, is Ashley the new employee? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Now, question number two, who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray, excellent. Mr. Ray, okay, perfect, perfect. So we have there, guys, our conversation. We are going to talk about procedures. Do you know what is a procedure? Do you know what is a procedure? We have talked about, we have talked about uh, policies, right? Things that people should do or should not do, right? But how we talk about procedures, what are procedures, Elsa? What do you think procedures are? Uh, 
for the for teacher i'm sorry i for the introducing a, a new employee okay is to okay. introduce a new employee okay okay but what um, in the university uh, the boss the the engineer uh, go to the office to office introduce the new people okay Okay, okay, okay. What oh, else? He, um, they, then um, he or her, she or they explain the obligation of the role in the in the university. In the university. Okay. Now let's see here. Right. We have. Uh, thank you so much, Elsa, for your for your answers. Right. We are going, we, every time that we start with a, a new job, we go to the new job and there is always someone in El Salvador, usually someone from human resources, right? HR, that they go talk to us and they tell us what to do, right? They tell us, you have to wear a uniform, you should uh, not eat uh, during working hours, you should not use your phone, you should not be posting memes on Facebook, etc. right? They tell us what to do and what not. But also they tell us the process that we should follow, right? For example, in the past, a long time ago, I worked in a company, it was a university, right? Where I had to teach uh, a student, but I didn't know what to do when I, I couldn't come to classes because I was sick, right? But I was not sick to go to the hospital, just I didn't feel okay, right? So I called, I called the Dean of Academics, I called El Decano, right, my immediate boss. I call him and I say, look, I feel bad, I feel sick, okay? But he told me, uh-uh, that's not the process, okay? That's not the process. You should contact human resources and then they will send you to the clinic and then they will uh, send the paperwork and then you can talk to me, right? So it was a process. We need to follow one, two, three, four until the end, right? Until the process is finished. Do you understand the procedures? Yes, no, yes. maybe. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's just start here then, right? Remember, we have I I had a picture here. I want to show you a picture right now. Let me see if I can get it. No, it's not it. Dun, dun, dun. This is a process that they follow to set up a business in Spain. Look, even, even, right? To do things outside the company, you need to follow a process, a procedure. Look at this. Can you see the computer? This procedures yes, for teacher. setting up a business in Spain, right? So I don't know what is NIEA, NIF, but let's go ahead and, and read them. Um, number one, can you read number one, Mr. Meneses? Negative company, <clears throat> name certificate in the mercantile register. Mm -hmm. Number two, NMES. Obtaining the NIE. N I E N I E. Okay, very good. Number three, Laureana. Provision of equity cap capital. Equity capital, very good. Number four, Elsa. N I F application. Thank you so much. Number five, uh, Delmi. 
granting of the constitutional deed before a notary. Deed before and a notary, okay? Before a notary. Number six, Oscar. Sorry for my dog. Uh, number six, Oscar. Okay. Uh, payment of payment of taxes. Payment of taxes. Repeat. Pay, payment of taxes. Thank you. Number six. Uh, number seven. Please help me out, Helen Dionelli. Now she's not there. Uh, Rene, number seven. Re registration in the mercantile register. Okay, and number eight, Nelson. Definity. Uh -huh. L F O O. Okay, definite, definite, and I F O. Very good. Now, look at this. We have here like a table, right, with a process, right? This is a process to create a company. But in our workplaces, we have processes that we need to follow for everything. If you think about it, for everything. To start my class, I need to follow a process. I need first, open Zoom. Second, put the email and put the password. Third, go to meetings. Four, I have to uh, start the class 10 minutes before 8 p.m., at least 10 minutes, right? Then we start the class, right? We finish the class with the camera open. After that, we finish the class until 10, 10, 10 p.m., and then we post the class on YouTube, and we finish, right? We finish. So that's a process. So what I want you to do is the following. I need you to think of a process of your companies, right? And do something like this, right? I need you to do a procedure for something, okay? Van a hacer una, un procedimiento de algo, de sus compañías, de sus empresas, okay? Vamos a trabajar en grupos, así que no van a trabajar con los mismos de su empresa. Pues aquí hay varios que trabajan en la misma empresa. Pero no tiene que ser... Todos, por ejemplo, si yo trabajo con José Daniel, con Helen y con Elsa, y trabajamos en cuatro empresas diferentes, no vamos a hacer cuatro, vamos a hacer solo uno, ¿ok? Just one. Así, chiquito, este tiene solamente ocho, ocho pasos que se deben seguir, ocho procesos. ¿Se entiende lo con que vamos a hacer? A qué, ¿Cómo? Eh, los pasos con respecto a qué, a, a entrar no, a la empresa... A un, a un proceso, a un proceso que ustedes sigan que en la empresa. A un proceso que ustedes sigan en la empresa. Por ejemplo, al inicio de la clase hablamos del proceso de cómo solicitar un, un formato de hoja de permiso para faltar al trabajo. Ese ah, okay. debe seguir un proceso. Hay procesos para, por ejemplo, yo tengo procesos para iniciar la clase. Procesos para enviar sus reportes a Insafor. Uf, un montón de cosas. Right? Un montón de procesos que seguimos, sobre todo en el trabajo. Right? En el trabajo. Perfecto. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Muy bueno. Muchas gracias, René, por su pregunta. ¿Alguien más? ¿No? ¿Están seguros que no tienen preguntas? De cualquier proceso vamos a trabajarlo. Sí. De cualquier proceso de sus empresas. De cualquier sí. proceso de sus empresas. ¿Sí? ¿Están listos? ¿Entienden que vamos a trabajar? ¿Sí? 
Ok, cuando ya tengan el proceso, que alguien lo escriba en un cuaderno, que lo ponga así, que se lea, para que después lo presentemos, en, y lo manden a WhatsApp, al grupo de WhatsApp, y lo vamos a presentar aquí, y una persona lo va a explicar. Ok, rapidito. Let's start. Give me a moment. Ok, vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. Let's start. Let's go. Vamos. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Groups of three. Denle clic ahí. Vámonos. Denle clic. Vámonos, Reina. Vámonos, Adga. Estelita. Edgar, Estela, Margarita. Roxana y Mario en este equipo van a poder participar ese día en la clase. Hello, teacher. Yo todavía estoy trabajando, fíjese. Vale, pero necesito que por favor le avisen a sus instructores cuando están trabajando y no van a participar. Porque así se arman los grupos de otra forma. Ok. Mario Alexander, ¿usted puede participar? Good evening, Miss Sandra. Ahorita voy entrando. ¿Qué van a hacer? Estamos haciendo una un proceso en estos momentos. Como el que les estaba mostrando en pantalla. Lo voy a mandar con otro grupo para que trabaje con ellos, por favor. Bueno, ok. Gracias, Miss. A ver. A usted la voy a enviar de oyente, Roxana, a otro equipo, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, voy a tratar la manera de hacerlo, algo aunque sea, y mandártelo al grupo hoy. Okay. Lo único que no puedo hacer es estar hablando mucho. que sea. Uh -huh. Carlos Mario, eh, Hola. ¿usted en este equipo? Porque lo vi que salió. Lo que pasa es que estoy, estaba abriendo la computadora y hasta ahorita me abrió el, 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 el chat. Ah. Ah, okay. Por eso estoy entrando. <risa> ok, perfecto. Pero aquí está, está bien aquí, sí, porque solo ya dos están, ¿verdad? Sí, está bien ahí, no hay problema. Vale. Solo que Tenemos solamente... La computadora también. Ah, eh, okay. Ya voy a cerrarlo acá en el, en el celular. Vale, perfecto, quiero ver si está con otro grupo y lo mando. Ajá, sí, entonces salga aquí mismo está. Sí, de ahí. <ríe> Para acá mismo lo mandé. Vale, te, dígame si tiene alguna pregunta porque esa actividad va a ser algo rapidito para seguir con, con, con la lectura. ¿No hay preguntas? Solo, solo que no sabemos qué procedimiento poner Utilizar. porque, ajá, porque para... Para pedir permiso, digamos, es solo llamar al jefe y ya. Ajá, entonces ponga otro, otro proceso. ¿Será que hay otros procesos, por ejemplo, eh, para, no sé, para, por no. ejemplo, sí, diga. No, 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 a mi señora le está dando las gracias, me estaba haciendo un poco sexy. <risa> <risa> Por ejemplo, ¿hay algún permiso para pedir materiales? Para pedir, no sé, Carlos, que por ejemplo viaja, tiene permiso, tiene que pedir, hacer algún proceso para pedir un carro distinto o así sucesivamente. O sea, no solamente un permiso, sino que 
cualquier tipo de proceso que ustedes sigan. Más que todo cuando estamos en oficinas, para todo hay proceso. Habían procesos para los estudiantes, por ejemplo, para que eh, a, pidieran un examen eh, diferido. Había otro proceso para que no llegaran a clases un día. Y así, o para cambiar de profesores. Bueno, en mi caso, o procesos prácticamente porque todo lo hago yo en la calle. Eh, si voy a faltar porque tengo algo que hacer, solo le digo a mi jefe, mire, voy a salir a hacer tal cosa. O voy a empezar la ruta, voy a ir a hacer esto por acá, pero me voy a incorporar dentro de una hora nada más. O sea, en mi caso, es así? El es todo está en la calle prácticamente, no. no. Hagan, hagan el proceso de inscribirse en Zafor. ¿De qué? De inscribirse a las clases de inglés en Zafor. Teacher, todo lo hizo mi empresa. No, ¿vale? <risa> ¿Qué hicieron? Cuénteme. Pues no a mí porque, bueno, hacía tiempo me había llegado a mí la información, ¿verdad? yo se la pasé a mi señora, ella se inscribió, después me dio curiosidad, me inscribí yo, al final resultó que estamos varios de la empresa, somos como tres aquí ahorita, habíamos como cinco al principio. Ah, entonces, ¿qué proceso siguen? ¿Eso, mm, ¿Eso pueden comenzar a trabajar? Yo solo mandé el correo a la empresa, de ahí no sé qué hicieron. <risa> ah, pues sí, tienen ahí... que pensar ahorita, un proceso. Piensa en un proceso. Vamos, vamos, vamos. No sé si podríamos detallar el proceso por unidad, por cliente, digamos, como yo lo hago. Eh, ah. Entrada de la visita para salir. Sí, pueden de hacer. La... Proceso de ventas. Ok. Ok, perfecto. De acuerdo. Hablando de oyentes, hablando de oyentes. Ok. Que nos copia, Ticho. No. Second. Um, enter. Eh, ingresar. En, ajá. Eh, Dilo en español enter, para que después lo. Ajá. Lo podamos. Ingresa, ingresar. Nombre cantidad y dirección. Ok. O sea, quantity and address. Ok. Eh, Teacher, que solo está de oyente, este, ingresar eh, sería enter. <risa> <risa> Ay, no, la teacher, miren cómo es. No puede hablar, <risa> ni puede oír, oír creo yo. <risa> ok. <risa> Seco sería Yo creo que sí, Francisco. Ingresar es eh, enter. Enter. De entrar. Uh -huh. Ajá. Después en, ya nos va a corregir. Enter. Entrar. Name. Ajá. Enter name. Y, y write. Y enter y write. Ingresar y escribir. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Sería así. Uh -huh. Enter y write. Write. And, and write. Read. Quantity, cantidad. Quantity. And address. And address. Address. Esa palabra siempre me ha confundido con, con dress. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. Address Quantity yes. and address mm -hmm. And address Cantidad, no cantidad y, en y español. Dirección ah, y dirección. Es Enter Quantity en, Enter, uh -huh. In the enter right. Name Enter Name Great quant, Quantity and address Entrar nombre. Ah, es, enter. O sea, sería ingresar nombre, escribir cantidad y dirección. Ah, okay. ah perfecto. No había, no había entendido eso. <risa> eh, la otra sería eh, recibir enter dinero. Name. Receive money. Third. Receive. O Ajá, sea, receive la... money. <risa> Ajá, pero sería la, la third. Sí. 
Ingresar la nombre, dice. Sí. Enter name. Uh -huh. Enter write. name. Escríbaselo a Margarita para que okay. para que pueda copiar. Por Tranqui, Margarita, ya lo pongo. Este, luego sería save information, guardar información, sabe información. Information. Luego sería imprimir el recibo. Customer. Customer. And start. 